hi guys welcome back to another video today in this video we are going to create a pop-up using html css and javascript you can create this type of pop-up to display the thank you message or success message here we will create a button and when we will click on this button this message will be displayed with some transition and when we will click on the ok button it will be hidden you can see we have added the transition like it is coming from the top to the center and its size is also increasing while displaying the pop-up. We will create this pop-up or dialog box using HTML, CSS and very simple JavaScript. But before starting this video, I would like to thank Bluehost for sponsoring this video. Bluehost is very good website to buy domain name and web hosting. If you will buy a web hosting from Bluehost, you will get the free SSL certificate, free SEO tool and free CDN. When you will buy web hosting for one year, you will get the free domain name also. In any of the web hosting plan, you get the SSD storage which is very fast and you get the unmetered bandwidth. It means there will be no issue with the traffic. You can drive n number of traffic on your website and your website will be always up and running. Here you get the free SSL protection. I will put the Bluehost link in the video description so that you can come on this website in one click. and. A start building your website if you don't know how to build your website with bluehost i have dedicated video on this one where you can learn how to build and publish your website in just few minutes you can find that video link also in the description now let's start this video here in this folder i have added one html file one css file and one image which is a check mark now let's open these files with my code editor which is visual studio code so this is the HTML file where I have added the basic HTML structures and this one is the CSS file where I have added margin padding, box sizing and font family. This will be applicable for all the HTML elements. In this HTML file I have added this link tag that will connect the HTML and CSS file. In this body tag we will add a div with the class name container. Next we will add the CSS for this container so just add this class name in the CSS file and here we will add some CSS properties. I have added width and height then we have added a background and display flex align item center justify content center so that all the contents inside this container will be displayed in the center of the web page. Now, let me open this HTML file with any web browser. So you can see a dark layer on complete screen because we have added the background color. Within this container, we will create a button. So let's add a button here. Button type will be submit and we will add a class name. It is btn and button text will be submit. Let me refresh the website again and you can see a submit button in the center of this web page. Next we have to design this button so we will add this class name which is vtn in the CSS file and here we will add the CSS properties for this button. In this button we have added some padding that will be some space inside the button and we have added the background then border 0 and outline none cursor pointer and we have increased the font size and changed the font weight and we have added the border radius of 30 pixels so that the sides of the button will be round. Let me refresh the website again and now you can see the changes in this button design. So we have designed this button. Next we have to add a pop-up on this display. So let's come back and come to the HTML file. Just after this button, we will add a div with the class name pop-up. In this one, we will add a image img src. In this src, we will add the file path. So let me write the file name of the image. Tick dot png after this image we will add a text in s2 it is thank you 
then we will add one small message after this message we will again add a button inside the pop-up type will be button and button text will be ok that's it after adding this let me refresh the website again and you can see a check icon after that we have this a small title and description and one small button which is ok so we have to design this pop-up let's come back and copy this class name write it here in this CSS file and for this pop-up we will add the width so it will be 400 pixel then we have to add the background so the background will be white and after that we have to add the border radius it will be 6 pixels we have to set its position let me add the position absolute and top will be 50% and left 50% then let's add the transform translate minus 50% and minus 50% so that it will be at the center of the web page let's refresh the website and you can see it is in the center of the web page let me come back and here we will add text align center so that all the contents inside the pop-up will be in the center we will add some space inside the pop-up so we are adding padding 0 it will be from top then 30 pixel from left and right and 30 pixel from bottom let me change the color it is triple three and after that you can see this check icon text description and button all are in the center of this box let me come back and here we will add this pop-up again and after that let me add the img because we have added one image and for this image we will add the width so width will be a small like 100 pixel then we will add margin top it is minus 50 pixel so it will move up by 50 pixel then border radius will be 50% it will be a circle and let's add the box shadow after adding this you can see this check icon is a small and we have some shadow around this check icon next we will add the CSS for this title small text and button let's come back and here we will add pop-up and h2 because we have added the title in h2 font size will be 38 pixel font weight 500 and some margin write this class name again then write button it will be for the ok button width will be 100% it will be full width margin from the top then some padding here we will add different background color will be white so that button text will be in the white color border will be 0 and outline none font size it is 18 pixel and border radius it will be 4 pixel cursor pointer and here also we will add box shadow so let's copy this one and add it here it will be 5 pixel and that's it you can see this title description and this button is looking good so we have designed this pop-up but right now this pop-up is visible by default so we have to hide this pop-up and it will be displayed once we will click on any button so let's come back and here 
you can see we have added the CSS for this pop-up and in this one we have added the position top 50% so instead of 50% we will add top 0 let's check the website and you can see it is at the top next we have to reduce its size so that when we will display the pop-up the size will be increasing let's come back and here in this transform we will add a scale scale will be 0 0.1 so it will be very small after adding this you can see on the top you can see this pop-up is very small so now we have to hide this one it will be hidden and it will be visible when we will click on any button so to hide this one here we will add visibility hidden so it is hidden we have changed its position we have changed its size and we have made it hidden next we have to display it using very small javascript so let's come back and uh, here in this pop-up we will add one id it is pop-up like this and uh, in this button which is for the submit we will add on click on click equal to and here we will call a function so we will add open pop-up like this and we will add the same thing in this ok button so this ok button is used to close the pop-up so here we will add close pop-up this function next we have to define these two functions so here before this closing body tag we will add script tag script open and closing tag and in this one let's add a variable let pop-up equal to document dot get element by id and here we will add an id which is pop-up just copy this and paste it here next we will define this function which is open and close pop-up so here we will add function open pop-up and in this one we will add a script that will be used to display the pop-up so come back to the css file you can see we have added the top and scale and visibility so we have to change all these three properties so here we will add some space and let's add a class name here i will add the class name open pop-up like this and when the pop-up is open this visibility will be visible visibility visible like this so it will be displayed and this top will be 50 percent so it will come in this center and one more thing just copy this paste it here and instead of scale 0 0.1 we will add a scale 1 so it will be in the original size that's it and uh, in this pop-up we will add some transition so let's add transition transform 0 0.4 seconds comma top 0 0.4 seconds we have added this class name that will display the pop-up but we have to apply this class name using javascript so just copy this class name come to the html file inside this script here we will add pop-up dot class list dot add and in this one we will add a class name that we have created open pop-up so it will add this class name and after adding this class name that pop-up will be visible on the screen let me duplicate it and instead of open we will add close like this and when we will call this function close pop-up it should hide the pop-up so here we will add remove it will remove this class name 
that's it. After adding this script, let's refresh the website again and click on this button. You can see this pop-up is coming from the top to the center. You can see the transition also. It is moving from top to center and it is increasing its size. And when we click on the OK button, this pop-up is hidden. So finally, we have created this beautiful pop-up or dialog box using HTML, CSS and very simple JavaScript. I hope this video will be helpful for you. If you have any question, you can ask me in the comment section. Please like and share this video and also subscribe my channel Easy Tutorials to watch more videos like this one. Thank you so much for watching this video.